Yo guys, what's up? My name is Ben. Today I have my Race World Pokemon League Week 4 match versus uh, AM, or Axme. So, uh, Axme's 5-0 right now, so he's definitely a, a pretty tough opponent to go up against. Uh, his team is equally as intimidating. Um, he's got Dragonite, which is one of the Pokemon I'm more worried about, because dragons give me a little bit of problems since I don't have a good fairy type. Metagross I'm not too worried about, uh, I expect him to not bring it probably. Togekiss, um, Lucario, a little worried about um, its priority. Blastoise, just a little worried about. Rotom Heat, he likes to set up uh, screens with Rotom Heat, so I'm prepared for that. Uh, Gothitelle, this is non-Shadow Tag Gothitelle, so I'm not too worried about it. Verizion, I am terrified of this thing. This thing is leading the league right now and kills this thing as is 13 and 3. Insane. I am terrified of this Verizion. <laughs> I know I really shouldn't be. Like, I hate I hate Verizion. It's such a bad Pokemon. I don't know. I just don't like its design, but it's terrifying. Uh, a Selgore, uh, super fast. If he brings it, I won't be able to outspeed it, so. Um, Dustnor, Meowstic. A little worried about Meowstic because he did pick it this up this week. I think it might be for our match. Uh, it does have Prankster. I'm not really too sure what he might want to do with it, but. He has a Meowstick, Meowstick, and Karakosta. I, of course, have Excadrill, Tyranitar, Mega Manetric, Milotic, Antikyrum, Gallade, Braviary, Armistar, and uh, just this week I also have Mawile, Miss Magius, and Weezing. You guys can see in the team that I am bringing Miss Magius. Now, I don't know if Miss Magius, it has a decent, um, decent matchup this week. I originally wanted to bring it because it had Heal Bell, and it's the only Heal Bell or, like Heal Bell on my team now that I don't have Vile Plume, which had aromatherapy, so Um I wanted to bring it for that, but then I realized that this thing really destroys his wall core um, if I set up on it. The thing about AM's team is that all of his defensive mons seemingly are special attackers. Togekiss, um, Blastoise, Rotom Heat, his main uh, wall core. Uh, <clears throat> and all of them are special attackers, so I feel like I can capitalize on that by bringing this Magius, which is especially defensive. Nasty plot up on it, and then this move set right here destroys his team. After a nasty plot, um, it pretty much okos all of his team. Now he can outspeed me with. Um, I think he can outspeed me with Lucario, but even if he can't, um, a Bullet Punch might. Um, like, he can't extreme speed me because I'm Ghost, but, um, he could potentially use Bullet Punch on me or, um, his other mods have priority. His Verizion definitely outspeeds me, so, um, he has checks to this. Like, if he just outspeeds me, I'm pretty frail on the physical side, but, either way, I think, um, this Magius is a pretty good bring, uh, this week it can spin block the Blastoise. Manetric has a pretty good matchup this week. Uh, Volt Switch Thunderbolt, Overheat almost exclusively for the um, Verizion. If that thing is out of, out of control, this does like 75% to it. HP Ice for the Dragonite, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I have defense investment so that I can take hit, like take bullet punches or extreme speeds or whatever from the Lucario. Or, yeah, I guess that's it, really. Tyranidor has a good matchup this week. Um, I wanted to run, hmm, his weak, his team is pretty weak to rocks, or like, to, well, number one to stealth rocks, but also to rock type attacks, so, um, I kind of wanted to run a little bit more of an offensive Tyranitar, but also, uh, defensively based, to put, take some pressure off of my Lodic. Um, like, to me, it seems like with AM's team, all of his, like, offensive Pokemon, quote-unquote, are, like, physical, all of his defensive Pokemon are defensive, so, I have two defensive walls, that's Tyranitar and um, Milotic, and then I have uh, an Assault Vest Entei, which can take special hits, and also this Magius, which can take uh, special hits from his special walls, so yeah. Brick Break uh, for the screens, I'm definitely going to end up using that. Um, so Tyranitar is a good option to break the screens. Stone Edge Pursuit will be nice, and uh, Rocks, definitely want to try to get Rocks up. Um, although he does have good options in defogging away, them away with Togetic and obviously spinning them away with Mega Blastoise. So, 
I've got Entei. Entei has a fantastic matchup. Uh, I wanted to want to run Assault Vest because I do want to be able to change up my moves. Um, priority is going to be really nice. Sacred Fire, Stone Edge. Uh, Flame Charge is nice if I can get off a late sweep with Entei. Um, after a Flame Charge, I should be able to outspeed anything on this team because <clears throat> I have 200 speed investment. And yeah, even though this I don't have a lot of HP or defense investment into this Entei, you can actually take hits really well. Um, which is nice. So Entei's gonna be putting in a lot of work uh, should I need it to. Um, I've got Excadrill. I really needed a good Scarfer. I mean, a good Rapid Spinner, but um, I decided to run a uh, Scarf because I felt like he would be able to stop a Sand Rush just based on like how defensively he usually plays. So didn't want to rely on that. Um, I went with Choice Scarf because I really needed a 100% uh, check to the Viruzion. Choice Scarf Aero Ace uh, does like 130% to it, so it always kills. Um, otherwise, EQ and Rock Slide uh, hit his team really hard. Like I said, his team was pretty weak re to rocks. Uh, yeah, Extra Dose should be able to put in a decent amount of work, although I am. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that I have to run at Scarf. Um, he has pretty low speed tiers, but he has obviously the Verizion and. Uh, the Lucario is also something I couldn't outspeed, so I, I really had to run Scarf, um, but I can't change my moves. Last I have my Lodic. My Lodic actually doesn't have the best matchup, but considering how defensive AM plays, I really, really wanted to be able to have um, a Toxic user, and also I needed a Hazer, and I just feel like my Lodic's gonna be really useful to uh, keep recovering off, and Basically, PP stall if I need it to. Uh, I was going to run Kyurem, uh, so, or Subru's Kyurem this week, but it just really didn't have a good matchup um, against his defensive Pokemon, so I decided against it. But yeah, my Lodic's here to just uh, be able to take hits, toxic things, and kind of stall things out if I need it to. Um, AM like, usually plays pretty defensively, and so I kind of want something to be able to play on that level that he does, even though I don't. the rest of my team isn't really all that defensive. So yeah. Gonna get straight into the battle. Hey guys, so we have a match. A little bit unexpected. Uh, he brought okay, so he brought the Goth, the Dusnor, and the Meowstic. So what didn't he bring? He didn't bring the uh, Metagross. He didn't bring Togekiss, which is interesting. He didn't bring the Rona Heat either. Okay. I think the Meowstic is gonna be his screen error. Um, I'm happy I have Pursuit on Tyranitar. That's going to come in clutch. <coughs> I'm thinking about a Tyranitar lead here, although Blastoise would suck. I don't think he's going to leave Verizion or uh, Dragonite. I think any of the other are fine. Tyranitar has a really nice matchup against three of the four. <sighs> if he goes into the Blastoise, I can just go Lodic. I think I am going to go Tyranitar lead. <coughs> Does lead with the Mayo stick. Um, I wonder if he's gonna go for burn here. I kind of want to get on my rocks, but I think I'm okay. Let's see, he has Infiltrator in this, so probably why he wanted it. But he also has Prankster. I mean, does it get Will O Wisp? That would suck if it gets Will O Wisp. I bet you it does. Meowstic Mail. Whoa. I don't think it does. I'm gonna go for Pursuit. That'd be nice to Pursuit Trap this thing. Okay. Does go for the Reflect. I'm gonna go for my Brocks and then a Brick Break. Uh, I did expect dual screens. Uh, for my M, I'm, uh, luckily I do have the Brick Break on this. So yeah, it is gonna go for the Reflect. Uh, I don't know what he's thinking with that Pursuit. This thing looks like, I mean, even though the Reflect was up, I'm surprised how little that did. Neo6 defense is not all that high. He probably is defensively based. Uh, I do have 100 attack investment with a positive nature, so I think I'm adamant. Maybe that Pursuit is gonna scare him into, okay. I am going to go for the Brick Break here. Uh, I could go for Pursuit, 
That's okay though. Uh, he might, he, he probably will switch out here. Well, he probably thinks if I'm gonna go for pursuit, now is the time I'm gonna go for it, so. Um, unfortunately, Brick Break is gonna do not much to the Meow Stick, but that's okay. Okay, nice. Trick Room. Interesting. Well. Are we speed tied? He went first, first turn. I went, he went first, second turn. I went first, third turn. He has 104 speed and I have 61 speed and I'm not speed investment. That can't be. I'm gonna go for pursuit. Nice. He must have switched there. Okay, sweet. So we got rid of his screens, and we got rid of his screen setter. Um, Trick Room is going to be up for the next three turns. Um, so I'm going to have to deal with that somehow. I mean, honestly, Tyranitar is pretty slow. What can he... I mean, Dust Door will probably outslow me. Maybe Blastoise? I kind of doubt it, though. Anyway, I can go to my Lodic and sponge hits until this Trick Room runs out. It's a really good start for us. Uh, I don't know if that crit mattered. I'm guessing it didn't. Because the first time... He did have the Reflect up, and he didn't switch out, and this time I think he did switch out. He's gonna go into Blastoise. He's probably gonna spin here. I could go into... Um, uh, this thing, the... Miss Magius, the nicknames are throwing me off. But it's a little too early for that, I think. So I'm gonna go into my dedicated switching, which is the Melodic. Go for Skull. Does get the burn, that's a little suck. Although, <coughs> that does um, raise my defenses. Um, I'm gonna go for Toxic here. He probably will spin, but that's okay. Yep. Do you hit the toxic? <coughs> Sorry. He does outspeed. Um, he's either I mean, he'll either stay in and attack me with a move, or he'll switch out. But um, oh, I think recover is a fine play either way. He might switch out. But, I don't know, Skull doesn't really do too much, so. I mean, I could also go for Double Toxic. That'd be a play. How much did this Skull do? 15? Uh, I want to make sure this is enough health. Like, there's nothing that threatens this on my team, on his team, except for the Verizion, and I don't know if he would go into Verizion here. Um, his Trick Room's about to end. So I don't know, I don't know what he's thinking here. I don't know if this is his opportunity to uh, capitalize. Um, his Dust Norm might be Trick Room, uh, his Goth could also be Trick Room. This is probably an offensive Blastoise, I guess, considering that he is Trick Room. And he does outslow me. What is Blastoise's base speed? 78? What's my Lodix? 81. So, okay. He would outslow me if he is- I don't have any speed investment, so... He would outslow me if he also doesn't have any speed investment, but I was wondering if he was a minus speed nature. So that could be possible. I'm gonna go into this. Don't know what this thing wants to do. It gets the elemental punches, it gets pain split. Pain split, gets shadow snake. Could have trick room. I'm assuming. I might as well search it. Dusk. No ore. Uh, trick room. Does get trick room. Thinking I should go into my. Turn it here. Could pursue trap it. Thunder Punch? Okay. He 
He might have a... Does he get a fighting move? Oh god. Brick break, counter, dynamic punch. He definitely has stuff, but that's okay. Can he either go for the Pursuit here or the Stealth Rocks? Pursuit probably won't kill. Yeah, he's really defensive. If you go for the rocks, you might have a move to hit me. Trick room. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming he's going to want to switch here. I'm going to pursue, I think. I mean, I don't want to really switch here anyway. So I might as well attack, even if he doesn't switch. Really glad I brought pursuit on here. Uh, I was thinking of not bringing pursuit. Really glad I did. Did he switch? Yes, he did. Nice. He goes straight on my Lodic again. He's gonna spin, perhaps. But I mean, I can keep repeating this. Like, he's taking damage. I mean, I could go into the Smedges here. At this point, after Toxic and Sandstorm, I think Miss Magius is in range to kill with Thunderbolt. Calcut. Miss Magia Sasuki. Sasuki. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. These are troll names. <sighs> Blastoise Mega. We have Thunderbolt. Punch. Bolt. It's a range. I think it's worth it. Ooh. Okay. Thunderbolt will kill though. He probably thinks he can kill here. I do- Oh, Trick Room's up. Fuck. Why did I do that? Trick Room is up. So he outspeeds. Oh god. That does a lot. Fortunately, the next one doesn't kill. Right? Shouldn't. <clears throat> Little idiotic. Um, my Melodic's getting low, but his Blastoise is getting low, and honestly, my Melodic is the one thing that's really supposed to counter. My Melodic's really supposed to counter the Blastoise over anything else. I was actually thinking of not bringing my Melodic and bringing Weezing instead, but then I was. I didn't have a good counter for Blastoise, so I'm really glad that I did decide to bring my Lodic over Weezing, even though it left me a little weaker to the Verizion. Um, <clears throat> he does have one more room, one more turn of Trick Room. Uh, Malik would definitely be nice for the okay spin. Toxic kills. So now rocks are free to stay. He doesn't have another Defogger, unless I guess. Dragonite probably wants Defog, but... Um, so yeah, the Melodic would definitely be nice for the uh, Dragonite. So I might keep it around for that. Miss Magis is a sack at this point. Because honestly, I mean, Shadow Ball is doing damage. It doesn't have anything for the Verizion. It doesn't... It has Power Gem for the Blastoise, so it has something. Um... <laughs> Okay. Terrified. I think Miss Magius is probably the sack here. If he goes for the fighting move, it, well, he's gonna go for the grass move. I don't have a switch in, no, like, I could switch in Entei, but Entei's a lot, pretty valuable, I guess. Oh, hey, Samate. Trying to think what's my least valuable. Like, the Definitely, Miss Magis would be nice to have. Okay, who's ready for some unreleased music? 
I think I'm fine now. Let's go for Leaf Blade. I'm sure the crit didn't matter. Here I can go into Scarf Excadrill. Go for the Air Slash. He is Life Orb, so he's not Scarf, so I definitely outspeed. I am going to be losing momentum here because he's likely going to switch, but honestly, I'm okay with that. There always is 100%. Yeah, it's got that never miss attribute to it. He might be calking. He might be like defensively invested and like think that he might live um, like an earthquake. Whereas I might think that I he would die to an earthquake or something or an iron head actually would be most damaging. But nope. So this battle is definitely going pretty well so far. Tyranitar is coming in so clutch. Still got a lot of use left in him. Can Pursuit Trap two more things on his team? Um... Manetric is probably my next stack. Manetric isn't all that useful. If I needed a sack. Entei definitely has sweeping potential. He can take a hit from Erizion. Well, I'll have to calc it again because it is life orb, but I'm pretty sure he can take a hit. Hmm. So this air slash should, I mean, it won't really do much damage to his other Marns. Um, I do want to get up rocks again for the Dragonite, uh, because a multi-scale Dragonite could be a problem. Um, fortunately, I don't have Ice Beam on my Milotic, so... But as long as I can keep it... Oh, yes, he stayed in! Oh, yes! That's so sweet. Shouldn't be trapping. I think um, Tyranitar is fine here. Trick Room again. Really likes that Trick Room. <sighs> Deciding between Pursuit and Stealth Rocks here. I am thinking Pursuit is the. Oh! <sighs> If he switches into direct, directly into his Dragonite, I am a little bit in trouble. In fact, <sighs> what do I have for the Dragonite? I'm not mega evolved yet. Can break its sash with my Excadrill, or break its whatever. Uh, it's honestly a problem. I can Stone Edge on it though. Like I'm thinking here, if I rocks and he switches in the Dragonite, then he's at his scale. If I pursue and he switches in his Dragonite, then he's still at like yeah. Then he he'll die and he'll just go straight into Dragonite. So I'd rather have the Gothitoe killed. He does switch into the Dragonite. Oh, and he took Sandstorm. I totally forgot about that. That is beautiful. Go straight for the Stone Edge. He's not leftovers. He might be ban- <sighs> I'm gonna calc what a ban does to me. Even though... I pretty much have to stay in anyway. Uh, Dragonite. Shouldn't be killing. Nice. Yes. I think that is a GG because he has nothing for this Tyranitar. Tyranitar coming in clutch. He can live one hit if he doesn't switch. But honestly... Uh, I think I'm okay. Doesn't even kill.
cooking was about to run out, I kind of want to switch out here just to make sure I can get the sand up again. He's going for EQs. I really don't have a switch in. They're going to my Lodic, but... What's my threat to the goth? EQ. This thing doesn't unlotate, does it? Yeah. Should be fine. They're going to Excadrill after this. GG Trinitar. Cross are going to this. I'm not going to risk the miss though. I don't know what he means by Norse. Keep kills. Wow. GG. GG AM. Did not expect that trick room. Uh, but yeah, I, my Trinitar coming in clutch. Well, GG guys, I will see you next week.